How is Julian, your friend? Oh, he's awful. I mean, it's terrible. You know, they've um, cut off internet access. He's, you know, a political prisoner in the heart of London. It's, a, it's very surprising. Still holed up in the Ecuadorian embassy. Yes, but cut off from everybody. You know, he, they just... Um, so you can't communicate internet. with him now? No. But you can nobody go can. and visit. No, nobody can visit him right now. Nobody deeply mm. concerned of him because he is... He's just one of the most important people in, on the planet right now. He's exposing all these war crimes and truths, and we really need him at this moment. And it's kind of not a coincidence that he's being silenced at this time. Is your relationship with him being investigated? Is you... Oh, probably. Gosh. I mean, uh, I wouldn't be surprised. But he's, he's, he's just such a good person. He so, has, has such good spirit, and he, I just really hope that he's doing okay. And I have a lot of concerns for him. I, I really... I'm concerned about his health and well-being, and Theresa May needs to do something. I mean, the UK is being so stupid. They have to make a decision. They keep on passing the buck. No one wants to take responsibility, and, and you know, they want to extradite him to the US, 100%. And that would be life in prison, and that would be, or, or worse, so before something happens to him, someone needs to confirm that there's not, they are not going to extradite him to the US, because that's all he cares about. Mm. You know, it's really important, and um, there's so much going on in the world right now. The walls, I want uh, to know what he's thinking, you know, I want to know what he mm. has to say about all this and he's being silenced. Mm. And you are genuinely worried about his health? Yes, yes. Well, already genuinely worried about his health. I mean, the, his circumstances with no sunlight, being in a small space for so long mm. and, um, and now being cut off from everybody is just mm. inhumane. It's a, it's a human rights um, situation. He's being abused. There's plenty of people, of course, who think that he should face Abuse? Should no, <laughs> no, no, no. Yes. That he should face justice for, well, uh, in the States. Yes, for what, though? For telling the truth and exposing war crimes. He's not, he's not the culprit. He's the, just the messenger. You should know, you journalists, so it's the same thing. Um, well, what does he think about what's going to happen to him? Well, this is the, you know, he's at the mercy of a lot of people and, and every day changes. So um, the last I heard from him, he was just trying to, you know, get his, his um, himself together and, and be prepared for anything. When was the last time you saw him or spoke to him? I spoke to him just before he was cut off. Which is when? A week ago, a couple of weeks, a week and a half ago or so, mm. but just spoke to him. And how was he when you spoke to him? Concerned and um, just... He needs a lot of support, and he has a lot of public support, but the press doesn't want to publish this, and so the press is really against him, and I know him better than any of these people writing about him. And he is, he's just very principled and dedicated and, and um, really on the side of, of the people.